Thanks for joining us on PBR.com alongside the professor and nine-time world champion Ty Murray. I'm Craig Hummer. We are wrapping up night number three of the 2011 PBR World Finals. Ty, tonight I think the big story coming in with no disrespect to Silvano and Valderon really was our chance to see the four Bulls going after that world champion bucking bull title. They all put on a great show, but Asteroid and Bushwhacker show again they're the cream of the crop. Well, and that's what I was going to say. We got four great Bulls in the race, but really the crowd came to mm -hmm. see two, and, mm -hmm. and, and Asteroid and Bushwhacker were both fantastic. I don't think either one of them could have hardly bucked any, any harder. The thing that puzzles me about that is, is Bushwhacker being a full point ahead of Asteroid. I didn't think there was that big a separation. You know, you look at Asteroid, he had as fantastic of an out as we've, uh, as we've seen him have all year. He, there's no way you could have asked him to buck any harder. I always feel that way about Bushwhacker. Mm -hmm. And coming in tonight, Bushwhacker's highest score was a 47 and three quarters, and then he goes a 48 and a half tonight. That seemed excessive to mm -hmm. me. I thought that the two bulls were both great. Uh, but I, I thought they were closer than that. Well, we've been splitting hairs all season long between these two bulls. So now with that full point advantage, was the world champion bucking bull race almost decided this well, evening? Th that, that's a huge advantage. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, when you're talking a full point on, on splitting hairs on these two right. bulls, that is a huge advantage. And I'm not going to say it's over because I still feel like Asteroids is as good as, as good as one can be, but... That definitely put him at a huge disadvantage, and, and uh, I'm not sure why it came out that way. Uh, like I said, I thought they were both great, but I thought they were closer than that. Well, it's been a de great debate all season long. I, would, I, would, I wouldn't even have minded if they would have marked both of them 48 and right, a half. You know, right. I thought it was. Th Asteroid was that good. I thought he was that good. Let's transition to our two-legged competitors, Silvano Alves, Valderon de Oliveira. They came in both needing rides. Silvano gets it done, but Valderon does not. Well, and I mean, this brings up a lot of things. You know, the race mathematically is still not mm -hmm. over. Even Robson still has a chance, but th this changes a lot in the dynamics. You know, tomorrow, now we're going into a draft. That puts Silvano in a lot better position than what Valderon is. There, you know, there's still a lot of variables. You know, I don't see Silvano faltering. Right. You know, we, we still haven't seen him do anything spectacular <laughs> here. I, when I say spectacular, uh, right. you know, don't get me wrong. Right. He, he rode a, some great bulls and, and, and continues to do something. But I'm saying, you know, we didn't see him walk, walking away or being in the 90s or, mm -hmm. or anything like that. But that's what he's been doing all year. And he stayed, you know, he stayed calm. Uh, he just keeps going at it. You know, he says, I'm not nervous. I mm -hmm. still feel good. I have my health. This is a guy that we never see get hurt, mm -hmm. you know, knock on wood. And, and uh, it just seems to me like he sees that gold buckle and he just keeps marching towards it. We keep using the word confidence, but it certainly applies to the man in the number one position. We can't call it a surprise anymore because he's been there since day number one. But Caleb Sanderson continues to find a way. You know, it's funny. After night one, everybody was like, can Caleb can Sanderson won the round? <laughs> and then it's like, wow, Caleb Sanderson's winning it. Now at round three and after the rank pin, everybody's still saying that. At some point, people are going to have to start to believe in him. I think he's believing in himself. Mm -hmm. You know, and I said tonight, he has the best chance that he's ever going to have getting by the rank pin because he's riding good. He's on that wave of confidence. And I know what that feels like in a final situation. And it's so critical. It's so important. And that should have just boosted his con his confidence had to be high coming in tonight. Tonight had to have put it through the roof. Now he's got first pick in the draft tomorrow. Right. So this thing could keep snowballing for him. We have yet to see him smile, however. He's not <laughs> letting on that he is him. enjoying this yet. But you bring up a great point. We've hit the halfway mark. Three out of six rounds done. But the next two draft Caleb Sanderson in the perfect position. It's going to be fun to watch on Versus, and we'll see you tomorrow on PBR.com.